Hello, my name is Knut Benedict and back again after my summer holiday I want to tell you some specific aspects on Pivot Point because I got so many emails and uh, questions, a lot of likes uh, but for additional aspects there were some questions raised uh, specifically on the development from the pivot point from unsteady to steady motion, shallow water impact, and also is there a difference um, if you have switched your ship to speed over ground or speed through water? Is there a difference in the pivot point? So, but before I answer these questions and make some demos with the uh, fast time simulation tool, I would like to convey a message because I spent a wonderful summer holiday on my small dinghy and you see here uh, it's me and I spent three weeks on that boat and when I came home I crossed the Burs in Warnemünde where all these beautiful cruise liners are uh, located. This was last year but this year Unfortunately, it was like that. So empty birth and it's a tragedy and we would like to keep our fingers crossed and uh, try to press our thumbs, would we like to say in, German, uh, in Germany, um, that this mess can be getting over with and the cruise liners are back, all these uh, good guys and brilliant people, specifically on the bridge, uh, also in the engine, um, and that this comes back to this state again. Okay, so let's start now uh, with my message here, and I would, I would like to use the fast time simulation tool for the demonstration and we have a ship here it's a, again it's a cruise ship it's an AIDA Blue and um, so here we have just put the rudder to 30 degrees so uh, if you would see what happens in the 30 degrees then you see ah this would be a turning circle with uh, 3.7 knots so very slowly um, this is a full turning circle after 24 minutes, but we want to discuss the position and the pivot point on some of these different positions. So if I move the time slider here to move the ship on, this, on, the, on the track, uh, so I move it by one second, uh, two seconds, then we see slightly the blue shape is going out of the initial position and the rudder is now 10 degrees after 2 seconds, 3 degrees after 15 seconds, up 20 degrees after 5 seconds, and uh, after 6 to 7 seconds the rudder is full uh, to 30 degrees to starboard. What we want to discuss is the pivot point development. And uh, the pivot point development, I put it back uh, to the initial position. Uh, we learned, and I put it now to 10 seconds, we learned that the pivot point location or position is depending on the speed components, the transfer speed components at the bow and at the stern, which were indicated by these numbers here at the bow and at the stern. And for the time being, we see after 10 seconds, the bow is going with 10, with 0.10 knots to this side, and the stern with nearly 0.2 knots to the other side. This means um, that the, because they are not equal to the opposite side, that means the pivot point must be located out of the ship center. That's what we learned in our basic course about pivot point. And you can see that on this, uh, on this graph, if we move it further, uh, now to 20 seconds, and then it's the same ratio. 
this is about two times higher than this speed. And now we see, I will switch off the shapes here uh, to see better what, what happens here. And now the pivot point is located here. So about half of the distance between center of gravity and the bow. And if we move it forward again, then we see, okay, for the time being, the ratio is a little bit changing. That means this, the pivot point is moving to the bow now more and more. And if we go maybe to a certain to a later state like this, then we see the pivot point, which is indicated by the interception between the midship line and the line between the aft transfer speed vector at the, and the bow speed vector, according to these numbers, then we see, okay, the pivot point is close to the, what we call the common reference uh, point where the bridge is. It's close to the bridge in this way. So what we, what we see is that the pivot point is not starting at the center because in the same way when you when the rudder is effective, starting to be effective, then there's already a drift and a turning speed. And we learned that the location, the position of the pivot point is depending on the ratio between rate of turn and the transfer speed, the drift angle, so to say. If there's pure turning, then the pivot point is at the center, but if there is drifting superimposed, then it's getting to the bow in this case. Okay, so what we learned is there's a motion of the vessel from, uh, from the center to the bow during the initial phase of a turning circle or turning motion. And later on, it stays always at the same position. So if we move the ship further uh, up to here, or even to this state here, then we see it's always the same position of the pivot point. If we are in a steady state motion during the turning circle, then the pivot point keeps constant. Next question. Does the pivot point position changes if the water depth is changing? So, I mean shallow water. We can change the water depth here uh, at this, um, at this uh, window and uh, I do that for the time being it's 100 meter. So if I change it to, uh, let's take this one, if I change it to 10 meters, then we see, okay, uh, for the same time spent during the turning circle, the ship has not proceeded after this position, so it's slower because of the shallow water impact, the ship gets slower. And what we see with respect to the pivot point, the pivot point is located a little bit aft of the previous position. That means the sp drift speed or the drift behavior is getting smaller. So in shallow water, the ship is, um, has no such drift angle and therefore the, the uh, shape of the turning circle changes. I go back again to the 100 meters, so that's the difference. So it's now 100 meter. Then you see the turning circle is a little bit smaller, the steady state part, uh, and the ship is a little bit faster. So this explains the effect of shallow water on the pivot point. The turning circle is getting bigger, the drift angle is getting smaller, and therefore the, uh, the uh, pivot point is a little bit more to the ship center. Let's do it again. So we are here, we go now to 10 meters of water, and then we see, okay, this is a, a little bigger turning circle and the pivot point is to the center. Last part of our discussion is 
The, I go back, back again to 100 meter, um, but what I want to show is now the drift impact. And for the time being, there's no drift. But if we had a drift of about, let's say, three knots, uh, three knots enter, then we see, ah, oh, because the ship speed was only 3.7, so four knots, but the drift speed is seven knots, so we have to change our scale, uh, let's say, to 0 0.75. And this is, if you want to see our shapes, this is what we see here. So because of the high drift speed relatively to the ship speed, the ship is moved in this direction and then for this turning here, here we go in this direction. If we reduce the drift speed for about to about let's say uh, one knot then we see what happens that the that the uh, turning circle is now a sort of spiral in this direction uh, if we increase the ship speed a little bit, then we see what happens. So this is the regular effect. But the question is, is there a difference in the pivot point uh, if, we, if I move the ship back? Uh, somewhere about here. So we see the pivot point is now very close to the bow. If we move it further, the pivot point is exactly at the bow. And now it's even starting to go in front of... I'll make it a bit bigger. So now we see this is the line... F uh, and now, both because the ship is drifting, over ground, the pivot point would be located in front of the vessel. What happens if we uh, switch to through water, from speed over ground to water? Then we see the pivot point stays at the same position. Again, this is through water and this is over ground. This means that if you switch to speed through water, then the pivot point remains on the same situation because it's clear the whole ship is moving with the water, like in a basin or uh, on, a, on a carpet you will be thrown, and the, the uh, um, turning circle through water is the same as uh, without current, <coughs> but due to the current speed, over ground, you get a higher drift over ground, and so the pivot point is moving constantly through the through the uh, through the turning circle. So I move it. If I move it here, then it's again at this position. If I move it to this position, okay, now it's in the center. That means if you have current, then the pivot point position is over ground, is constantly moving. Here it is at the center, then we saw it even before the bow. So be aware, if you switch to speed over ground, then your um, local speed at the bow and the stern is constantly changing over ground. I hope it helps. Thanks a lot.